me, that's like ain't some candy. Nigga, this shit ain't help. Nigga, hold your text on. We got chilling scares, man. Um, uh, six most disturbed things caught on police dash cam foot. Why are you three? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, give away a 5K, man. Y'all gotta give me the 5K, though. <laughs> Y'all bullshit. It's only 200 more, really. 200, 200. Really a hundred, really if you wanna be real. It ain't two hundred, it's a hundred or something. If you wanna be honest, a hundred and twenty. Thirty. Hundred and thirty. All y'all gotta do is just get me there. Y'all like y'all y'all tell somebody, tell somebody and tell somebody. Yeah. Nigga. And when you come over here, sit your motherfucking ass down and learn something about life, nigga. Come over here and watch me for <clears throat> Come over this bitch watching me for fun, nigga. I ain't Nickelodeon. The, uh, the, uh, 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 Cartoon Network, 2016, at around 2 a.m., a Pasadena police officer was stopped at a red light when he noticed the vehicle directly in front of him had an expired registration sticker. Mm -hmm. Immediately after Hold the it. light turned green, the officer switched on his lights to pull the vehicle over for a routine traffic stop. The dash cam footage shows the police officer shining his flashlight inside the vehicle and talking to the driver. Although nothing out of the ordinary seemed to be happening, the police officer would soon hear screaming and banging noises coming from the trunk of the car. Oh shit. When the officer conducting the traffic stop asks the man and woman in the vehicle about the noises, the driver immediately steps on the gas and speeds off. The officer reacts instantly and runs back to his cruiser to pursue the vehicle. I always think he's hot, dog. <clears throat> If you know you trafficking or, you know what I'm saying, if you moving, you know what I'm saying, meth or weed or, or, or you kidnap somebody or some shit like that, at least make sure everything on your car right, your tail lights, your, your tag number, your insurance, make sure everything right. Because, yeah, and, and your speed, most of all, or, or, or if you're too close up on, on, on the motherfucking car, they'll pull you over. Make sure everything's straight before you do all that bullshit you doing right here. Not not not, kin, not kidnapping nobody, cause that's kidnapping. Hold it, get somebody to get their wheel. That's kidnapping. After taking a wrong hey, turn and arriving at a dead end, the driver of the getaway car can be seen frantically getting out of the vehicle and attempting to escape on foot, Damn. leaving behind the woman who later turned out to be his girlfriend in the oh, passenger shit. seat. The suspect doesn't get far though, as he falls on the ground before making it past his own car. He's talking the fuck out of it. What After the fuck? arresting the suspect to be his I girlfriend hate, in the I passenger seat, on. the suspect doesn't get far though, as he falls gotta on the ground before making people. it past his own car. They gotta be one of my people. Damn, he fit. This dumb man nigga fell hard as fuck. That nigga must hit a pothole or some shit. He <laughs> escaped on foot. Leaving behind the woman, he turned out to be his girlfriend in the passenger seat. Look, 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 look. The suspect doesn't get far though. Don't. As he falls on the ground before making it past. Go to the police car. officer. That After you. arresting oh, the suspect, one of the officers on scene would use the keys that were still inside the suspect's vehicle to open the trunk of the car, where he would find a woman who later turned out to be the driver's ex-girlfriend cramped in the trunk of the vehicle. Oh. The victim later revealed that her ex-boyfriend Alexander Salas and his girlfriend Nicole Cruz had kidnapped her in order to scare her, and that the reason why Salas appears shirtless in the video was because he had tied his shirt around her head before putting her in the trunk. The true details regarding Salas' motives for kidnapping his ex-girlfriend remained unclear. After the events, Alexander Salas and Nicole Cruz were both charged with aggravated kidnapping. They had gone. This dash cam footage was captured by a New Jersey police cruiser in the early hours of the morning of February 24th, 2023. A few minutes before this footage was recorded, several police officers and first responders had left their vehicles on a closed off highway lane to attend to the victims of a crash involving an SUV that had spun off the road after the driver had lost control of the vehicle. What starts out as uneventful footage of a couple police cars stopped on the highway soon takes a terrifying turn. The dash cam video shows New Jersey State Trooper Stefan Lentini shining his flashlight at an oncoming heavy-duty tow truck to try and get the driver's attention. Alarmingly, the truck doesn't seem to be showing any signs of stopping or even moving to the next lane. 
As the 40,000 pound truck's headlights continue to approach the trooper and his car, Lentini is forced to run off the highway to avoid the oncoming truck. Oh shit! God damn! Be showing God any signs damn! Of stopping, or even moving to the that next lane. Me. Me. As the 40,000 pound truck's headlights continue to approach the trooper and his car, Lentini is forced to run off the highway to avoid the oncoming truck. Look at that shit. He hauled ass too. He got the fuck. Damn, that's a big ass semi. God damn. I hope nobody went in that car. Shit. Come up definitely now. After the truck slams into three police cars and an ambulance, panic state trooper DeVry Mariano's voice can be heard as he calls desperately for his partner, serving as a chilling reminder of how tragically this crash could have ended. Amazingly enough, no one, not even the truck driver, was seriously injured during the incident. That was my word, Phil. Well, I'll say a couple months, I'm going to be out there and gone. I'm still be making videos and shit. I just ain't going to be, you know. Yeah, I know. Smoke. Although the 53-year-old tow truck driver was given a summons for the careless driving that resulted in three total police cars and a damaged ambulance, the factors leading up to the crash have not yet been revealed. Though many are suspicious of the driver falling asleep at the wheel or just not paying attention in general. Well, that's a boss truck. Damn, hello. In February 2014, South Carolina Highway Patrol officers were instructed to be on the lookout for an old green Cadillac that had allegedly been involved in a kidnapping in Virginia Beach. On February 25th, state troopers spotted a vehicle matching that exact description at a hey, rest stop. Hey, I just thought about something. Yeah, I think I should start react to oh, police body cam. I had watched one or two videos, well, three videos yesterday. And the motherfucker be kind of interesting. I ain't gonna count. So y'all think I should start reacting to goddamn police by the camera if I can? South Carolina. Them bitches long, I ain't reacting. The captured by one of the police cars shows a trooper cautiously preparing to open the trunk of the Cadillac. Damn, somebody else found On flipping open the trunk of the car, the trooper would find a middle-aged woman stuffed in the back of the vehicle. Disturbingly, the victim later turned out to be the mother of 20-year-old Rogelio Lopez, the driver of the car. Oh, damn. The According to authorities, the woman sustained minor injuries when, after she attempted to escape the car after Rogelio stopped at a Dairy Queen, he reportedly jabbed her in the ribs and chest and put her back in the trunk of the car. The dash cam video shows how, after helping the woman out of the car, another officer at the scene proceeds to interrogate the suspect. What's going on that made you want to do that to put her in the trunk? She didn't want to come. So why? She wasn't the phone, she didn't want to come. Although Rogelio's defense attorney would later attempt to plead insanity for his client, the suspect was jailed on kidnapping charges. She ain't want to come with me. It's crazy. The footage that was captured by Officer Wayne Daniels' police car in Garden City, Georgia, is arguably one of the most notorious dash cam videos on the internet. Who, Georgia? It left viewers completely baffled for years and even appeared on a paranormal TV show. In the video, Georgia is arguably one of the most notorious dash. What is it? This bitch. Come on, man. What part of Georgia? The footage that was captured by Officer Wayne Daniels' police car in Garden City, Georgia, is arguably one of the most notorious dash cam videos on the internet. That sounds like someone else been a little bit baffled for years and even appeared on a paranormal TV show. That. In the video, the officer attempts to pull over a white sedan for reckless and erratic driving near midnight on April 3rd, 1997. After fooling the officers into thinking he was going to pull over on the side of the road, the mysterious driver begins swerving oh, to the right before making a U-turn right? and disappearing into the night.
What the fuck? What the fuck he in? He hot dash. God damn. 1997 dash cam footage. That shit look terrible. Suddenly, the white car comes into view again and attempts to leave the officers behind by maneuvering the white sedan into a series of dangerous swerves. He gotta be a nigga in this world like that. He hitting them bitches. He ain't... What the fuck? That nigga gonna be drunk. He gotta be drunk. Girl. Although the video quality is understandably low, the driver in the white car would reportedly reach speeds of over 115 miles per hour during the high speed pursuit. Damn! That's fast. <laughs> he gonna get out. Undid it, honey. 115. That shit is fast, my god. Out of nowhere, the suspect turns onto a side road and reaches what looks like a dead end. And this is where things get creepy. Instead of stopping, the white car makes a sharp turn to the left and disappears behind a metal fence, leaving the officers and the viewers of this viral video completely stunned. What One the of the fuck? most plausible theories on this shocking footage is that the fence might not have been properly fixed to the ground, allowing the car to go straight through the fence. But this still leaves a lot of unanswered questions. To this day, the explanation for this eerie footage remains a mystery. That was definitely weird. Not gonna this dash cam footage comes from a police car in the suburb of Chicago. In the video captured on May 10th, 2018, Sergeant Anthony Manino is seen putting himself and his car between a two-year-old boy and oncoming traffic. Before the sergeant arrived at the scene, the small this child was no moving out of a high traffic lane, <laughs> running dangerously close to the trucks and cars that were passing by. Nah, bitch. Speech. According to reports, Manino originally thought that the child was a stray dog, but after realizing it was that Charlie Will, uh, Charlie Worth was here. Actually, a little boy Carly running Worth. a few feet from traffic on Route 59, Carly he Worth. immediately got out of the Not car Charlie, and ran to Carly, the child's Carly rescue. Worth. Thirty-one. Trying to corral a one-year-old boy running across 59. Hey, Eli, how long that? Hey, oh shit! Hey, oh shit! Hey, come here! Hey, you need to run a little bit faster than that, my boy. Where? What the fuck is Pam? Is it? You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> I am. Uh, Where are parents? parents? How you doing? What's your name? Yeah, please put pieces together. We're part of the old American set. Hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. Videos like this one raise an obvious and very concerning question. What are this parents? child's parents? Oh, yeah. Fortunately, in this case, the boy's mother showed up a few minutes later, understandably emotional about the incident. It was later discovered that the family lived only two blocks away from the spot where Menino found so, the child, and right. that the boy had run away from his mother in the blink of an eye. Had Sergeant Menino not been there at that exact moment, there was no guy. telling what could have happened to the little boy. Man. He was running a little slow. He should have been running fast. <laughs> this unsettling dash cam footage shows the police's response to a report of two people in clown costumes harassing civilians and chasing after cars in the early hours yeah, that, that of October 7th, 2016 in Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh, that the incident was reported wrong. amid the disturbing surge of creepy clown sightings in various locations worldwide in which people dressed up as clowns would sometimes even go as far as threatening innocent passers-by with weapons. In this video, when the officer asked them to show them their it hands to make sure they aren't carrying any weapons, the clowns comply by slowly and creepily bringing their hands out to their sides, standing still and staring at the officer. At three in the morning is crazy, by the way. I'm not going to even lie. And it sounds like I hear a dog. They're just standing up. Although this footage looks innocent enough when compared to some of the other clown sightings that were reported that same month, there is more to the story than meets the eye. It turns out the two clowns were being driven around by a 26 year old woman who was actually the wife of one of the clowns. Shockingly, it was discovered that the couple had left their four-year-old home alone for several hours in order to participate in this prank. 
After the parents were referred to court on charges of child neglect, the child's mother was detained at Winnebago County Jail as a probation measure. The other clown was let off with a warning. She left her kid for several hours just to do a motherfucking prank. It's probably not even getting filmed. Probably not making money. And another thing, y'all want me to react to some pranks too, man, cuz. I ain't gonna clap. Some of these pranks be funny as fuck. I be watching some pranks too. Like in my spare time, I be watching pranks. I be watching like all type of shit. Uh, finna watch my show when I <laughs> when I get out this motherfucker. But yeah, man, give it a thumbs up, let's subscribe, see how much for the next video. Let's ride, nigga. Give away a five K too, man. And give it a uh, thumbs up. Let's ride, nigga.